Hi everyone, uh, hopefully you guys can hear me in the back. Uh, Jack Dillon, I'm a Principal Solutions Engineer with Grafana Labs. Uh, just before I jump into my slides, uh, a bit of a you know, history about me. I'm originally uh, born and raised uh, out of Malaysia, and uh, but I've been living in Australia for the last 21 years. But my great-grandfather was a soldier in the British Army from Northern India. So when I start speaking, you will hear my accents all messed up. So you know, I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, okay, so let's just start with you know talking about uh, observability as a journey. Now, most of you here are developers, and you would have you know uh, under pressure, especially the last two years, whatever happens in the world, uh, you need to ship software faster, right? And here are examples of some companies out there. You know, everyone knows Amazon, Netflix, Adidas, right? If you notice. The trend here is that everyone needs to get their software out sooner rather than later, right? And if you look at it, just an example of Adidas, they're deploying their codes daily you know, to 50 markets. That's daily to 50 markets. Now, New Zealand is a famous uh, brand in the world, right? There's a lot of New Zealand Kiwi brands that are you know, sold around the world. So I'm pretty sure some of you are working for companies which are having some similar challenges. But that just gives you an idea how soon do you need to release software code every day, every minute. Now, the challenge is the shift to microservices. And it's not a challenge, actually. It's a good thing, right? Uh, if you look at it, traditionally, uh, you know, even you were using a monolithic uh, way of developing everything had a lot of dependencies and you could not deploy or changes immediately now with you know microservices you can just update the services independently and imagine uh, you know your ability to keep your services running without any issue right and that's you know i mean you've already heard from the other speakers about infrastructure as a code speaking about azure and how great kubernetes is Fantastic, everyone knows that. But the challenge is, in most organizations, the workloads and containers are just growing. And it's growing, and it's a great thing, right? Because you're developing software faster, and you're more productive, and you're helping your business or your organization. The challenge is that when you're trying to diagnose performance issues, right? When something goes wrong, right? Here's an example at Netflix, right? Due to net distributed nature of container microservices, this is what they are looking at every day, right? So whenever there are issues or just to see a visible observability as, you know, how the services are running across the globe, across different countries, across different geographies, can, you can just imagine how complicated it is for them, right? But, you know, they've got a lot of resources and they've got a lot of developers and observe, uh, you know, SREs. Irrespective, the, uh, you know, the size of the organizations, these are some of the challenges that, you know, you as developers and the SRE teams are going to face when you go down the, you know, path of Kubernetes, uh, cloud containers. It's just going to get worse and worse, right? But you need to have visibility. Now, traditionally, right, most companies have already invested in monitoring, right? You've got the IT ops team, which has got, you know, uh, the traditional IT monitoring solutions out there. But, and here's what the feedback is from the market, right? A lot of challenges is due to lack of unified visibility across all key services. That's the biggest issue most people are ha uh, having, right? And of course, you know, you can just go down here, you can see a lot of, you know, issues with visibility, I issues with maintaining the existing tool set, right? Limited access to all who need visibility. Now, traditional monitoring is not enough, so everyone is talking about observability, right? If you look at it, you got the metrics, what's going on? You got the logs. Why did that server crash? Or why did that container crash? Right? And then you got the traces. You know, you got distributed tracing. You want to know where the bottleneck was, where the API call crashed, or where the you know changes in the certain API call impacted your application or your service. Right? So that's the observability to the uh, rescue today, right? And 
you've got all the vendors rushing to observability from different uh, origins. You've got the infrastructure monitoring, you've got the log monitoring, APM, distributed tracing. As you can see, everyone is talking about observability. It's a hot topic right now, and there's actually a there's actually a Gardner chart that talks about observability right now. It's you know it's not matured yet to the point where everyone is either implementing it or about to implement it, but they they don't know what exactly is, uh, they need, right? But ultimately, you know when you talk to the business guys, they just want to see what's red and what's green that's all they're interested in right but of course you know when you talk to the techies like us we want to know where the issues are right and most of us will have some of these tools already in our arsenal right or we are thinking of investing in some of these tools or we're using it in some capacity which is great and that's the reality but consolidation is a challenge right most people are using at least five of those tools, right? And you know, you can see they're using at least 95% for monitoring or 95% for logging, 74% for tracing. And half of these companies, you know, they basically have used everything out there, right? In one capacity or the other, which makes consolidation difficult, right? And that's where uh, we believe that observability is a journey and it's not a destination right what we mean by that is that you know if you've seen how grafana started it started off very much as a visual platform right and we still are and it's open source so by all means go and download it try it right but what we're saying is that observability data is more siloed than ever right and i think what we're saying to everyone and we are seeing it out from our customers too is that they want to consolidate all of your data into a single stack. That's what most of the vendors are fighting for, right? What we are saying is that you have invested your time and your resources in a certain stack, right? You can't just dump that. You need to utilize what you've already invested into a single observability platform. And that's why a lot of our users are out there using Grafana to have a visual into what's going on out there in their, in their in a techno, uh, technology stack, right? You're also using it from an open source monitoring. And so most people, when they start with open source, it's the cheapest way. And that's the recommended way, right? Uh, Grafana, at its core, is an open source company and will always be an open source company. That's our DNA, right? Uh, we want people to use our software and we want them to be successful with it. So we believe that you know you can continue using open source until the point where you need support, right? And that's where we are helping you in the journey. And this journey could be taking you, you know, six months to six years in terms of from the time you start as an open source to the time where you say, you know what, we need to use you guys as an enterprise. But it's your journey, right? And that's the path that they're telling everyone to take. And last but not least, a lot of developers that we talk to are having challenges with logging costs uh, simply because, you know, their technology stack in the organization has got an expensive legacy logging platform and they're coming to us and asking us about our open source project and we do have an open source logging platform that you can use as a developer for free so what we're saying is it's a journey and we are there to help you and on that note that's pretty much it um, i'll leave you guys for some questions and answers later thank you